Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Madden Destroyer. It's here today. We're going to be going over my team. I'm going to showcase my team. And today we're going to be talking about the most important stats that you want to look for in your players. All right, so without further ado, let's get started, guys. We're going to start with our quarterback, Tom Brady. Now, some of the most important stats is throw power. Without throw power, you can't really get the ball deep down the field, so you can't really make those dangerous throws that you want to make. Also, you always got to look at that throw accuracy. Now, I don't like his short or his deep because if his deep is terrible, then that means he can throw it deep. But if it's not accurate, how does it help you? It doesn't. So always make sure that you, if your quarterback has good throw power, he needs to have good throw accuracy deep. All right, guys, let's continue. Next, we're going to go to our halfbacks. Now, a lot of people prefer speed. Sometimes I prefer speed. Sometimes I prefer strength. It just depends on what I'm looking for in that type of running back. Now, Marshall Falk is a speed, agility, and a catching, and not really too much carrying running back. So I do look for speed. I do like agility, and especially like when you can catch the ball because I know if none of my wide receivers are open and I see you open, I'm going to give you the ball because I know you won't drop the ball. So that's just some important stats that you should look for. Definitely always continue to look for carry in your running backs. Fullbacks. Now, really for fullbacks, I just say strength and blocking. I know my, um, Lorenzo Neal has 77 pass blocking, which isn't that good, guys. But, you know, you can still work with it. You won't be seeing me do too many wide receiver screens, but I can still work with it, even though his pass block isn't that well. You know, his run block is a 94, which is very good, and then his impact block is a 98, which means, remember when we had the superlative live event and we had Leo Collins, I believe, and he had 99 impact block, and he got the award for best pancake. Basically, Lorenzo Neal almost has best pancakes also. He's just one overall. He's just one stat lower. Next up, guys, we're going to be going into tight ends. Okay, this is one of like my most favorite pulls from yesterday, actually. I pulled Rob Gronkowski yesterday in a pro pack. The brand new football outsiders, Rob Gronkowski, guys. Okay, so when you look for a tight end, you always look for strength. And then you always got to look for catch. Now, sometimes blocking. I'm not really cool with the blocking, you know. I think that blocking should be improved on a lot of tight ends. I think that's one thing that they should work going to Madden Mobile is some tight ends blocking stats. Because a lot of tight ends, they say that blocking is terrible, but a lot of tight ends blocking stats in real life, well, their blocking in real life is better than what Madden Mobile rates them. So I say that could be better. But, yes, guys. He has 61 pass block, 69 run block, 64 impact block. Now, that's not the best, but it could be a lot better. But, you know, you just got to deal with it. Now, especially catch, because I know that I can go to you on fourth down and you will not drop the ball. That's very important to me. Next up, we're going to go to wide receivers. Now, you see, I do have the 99 Odell Beckham Jr., but don't worry, guys. On my many accounts, we'll be doing a video called Road to Odell Beckham Jr. Guys, we'll be doing head-to-head -head season games on their sets. We'll be doing all these different things. Also, we'll be doing on some other many accounts, Road to a Million or Road to a 90 overall, guys. So stay tuned for those coming up soon. And next month, at the end of February, we'll be, we will be doing a a live stream and we'll have a whole bunch of packs open guys so make sure you'll be there for that you definitely don't want to miss that okay so wide receivers up next i'm not going to click on odell because it's basically unfair so we're going to go to the 96 signature andre johnson now i do look for speed you might say well andre johnson isn't that fast of a wide receiver yes he isn't but one thing that i do like about secondary wide receivers i don't care if you're fast if you're a secondary wide receiver but i do care if you have strength and that's why i kept switching out isaac bruce and andre johnson because andre johnson has the strength which means he can get past defenders by running over and since Isaac Bruce has more agility. He It takes him longer to do truck moves. And also, another thing that I look for in a wide receiver is awareness. If you do not know that the ball is coming towards you, that is a huge problem for me. And then also, I need to make sure you can jump very high. You see he has 94 jump. So that lets me know. If I throw it or overthrow you very little bit, then that lets me know I, you can go up and you can still get it. Also, 
is catch. That means the ball is going to stick to your hands. You're not known to drop the ball. So I like that. Next up, we're going to go into offensive linemen, guys. You know, we're just going to do 1 OT, 1 OG, and then we're going to do the center, Travis Frederick. As you can see, I do have two legend offensive tackles. I wish I did have the uh, 94 overall MVP, Lane Johnson, but, you know, I do not have him. He's a very expensive player, guys. So, also, <clears throat> this is Jonathan Ogden. I have a really good story about this. So, my league, which is the Dominators, we had just completed the achievement for rushing, which was 250,000 rushing yards, guys. So, I do get, we get the legendary pack for that. So, once we get the legendary pack, I open it up. I click open later. Then I go ahead and I'm like, you know what, I'll open it up anyway. So, I go ahead, I click the first card. It is the legend Jonathan Ogden. I go crazy, guys. I flip out. I go reveal all. I didn't get anything else. I got a, a Orlando Pace collectible, which doesn't really go for that much. Went for 32k. Not that much cash. But then that was pretty good for the day right there. And also, you might be saying you had a pretty good day, also, dude, because you pulled the 94 football outside this Rob Gronkowski that same day too. Well, yeah, I did. Okay. So also, guys, let's get back to the video. So, things to look for in offensive tackles. But let's look at a little end of pace. One thing that you definitely want to look for is strength, guys. Strength is probably one of the most important stats. Also, run block, pass block, and impact block. Definitely impact block because you know that if they pancake the dude, that's going to give you more time in the pocket. So, you definitely want that. Next up, things to look in OGs. Here's the MVP, John Greco. Like I said, strength again. Definitely awareness, because if they're not aware that a defender's coming, how are they supposed to protect you while you're in the pocket? That's one of the most important things that you want your offensive guards to be able to do. Next, we have the pass block, run pack, and impact block. Now, you see the OGs or the offensive guards for John Greco, his impact block isn't that high. So you won't be able to rely on him for him to do pancakes that much. But you will be able to rely on him to hold the pocket, to keep it together, and so not to allow a hole for you to become set. Now, here is the used-to-be best center in the game, Travis Frederick, guys. He's boosted to a 94 on my team. Now, he does have boost. He has the boost of himself, which is two strength which puts him to 95 strength. And then Tom Brady gives strength, so that puts him to 97 strength, guys. And he has 91 pass block, 97 run block, and a 96 impact block. Like I said, impact block is so important, guys. That allows the offensive lineman to pancake a dude, flip him over, push him on the ground, keep the pocket stable. Next, you're going to look at Josh Klein. So now we can compare Josh Klein and John Greco's impact blocks. Now, Josh Klein is 92, so I, I can rely on Josh Klein to pancake a dude, but I can't rely on him to be aware about the, his surroundings. It's not a 90 or plus because it's not bo it's, it's boosted, but it's not a 90 or plus. So I cannot rely on him to be aware when a defender is coming my way. Now, we're not going to look at Jonathan Ogden's stats, maybe in another video, guys. Next, we're going to move on to defense here, guys. So, in corner, we have Ron Day Barber. Some of the most important stats to look for in cornerback is first, speed. Definitely speed. Next, it's going to be awareness because they need to know where the wide receiver or whoever they're sticking, they need to know where they're, where, where they're at all times on the field. All right, guys, sorry about that. Next, we're going to go to man coverage and zone coverage. Express, those are really important because depending on what coverages you run, that will actually help you and benefit you in certain ways. Next, we're going to go with play recognition. If they cannot recognize the play the offense is doing, then how are they supposed to keep up with the wide receiver or tight end or whoever they're sticking? Next up, in your safeties, you definitely want to look for them to be able to tackle, especially their hit power. Now you see Kirk Holman's hit power isn't that high, which is a huge problem, but you see he has speed, he has awareness, and he can tackle somewhat. Man is not really known to be in safety, but zone is very important for them. Next up, if we go and look at William Moore, you see this 98 hit power. Now I do recommend getting William Moore, but I do not recommend, I definitely do not recommend doing man, too many man coverage plays with William Moore on your team because you see his man coverage is very low. It's a 69, guys. That's not good. But she has 94 awareness. 
He can tackle very well, so that's always a good thing. Next up, guys, we're just going to look at these linebackers. Before. The things that you want to look for in a lineman. Number one, speed. So his speed is not too bad. Strength is very good. Awareness is good. His hit power is amazing. Another huge thing is pursuit. So say if a wide receiver or a halfback or something, they're getting like a huge gain on you. You know that since his pursuit is so well, he's just going to track down that dude. And he's not going to stop following him until they get to the end zone. Also, tackle. Now you see his tackle isn't that well. But you know, it's okay because his pursuit and his hip power kind of help him with that. Next up, middle linebacker. The huge thing that you want to look for middle linebackers. You tackle and you want to look for the pursuit and hip power. Right. So if their hip power isn't good, say if it's like a, just a slot and drag. So where the tight end comes across and then the slot wide receiver goes behind the middle linebackers. And they throw, and a person throws it to the tight end. Say when they're throwing it to the tight end that your middle linebacker is right there. So if your middle linebacker doesn't make a huge enough hit, the ball is going to get caught. And they're not going to pop be able to pop the ball out. Next up, guys, we're going to have Ryan Shazier, guys. <clears throat> so one of the most important things for him is that tackle, man coverage, pursuit. Now, I do look for some, some really want to tackle, man coverage zone, sometimes pursuit. Hip power is very important to me in middle linebacks, and I think it should be very important to everybody. Next up, we're going to look at the defensive line. Now, I did just get this player yesterday, Deacon Jones. And, you know, he's very good in certain in certain places, and that's why I really do like him. I like his tackle. His pursuit is very well. But also, what you always want to look in for a defensive lineman is power moves and finesse moves. Those are probably the most important things that you want to look for. Also, we want to make sure that tackle is good. Now, you see he has 99 strength. He has 98 tackle. That's very good. Now, his power moves and his finesse moves aren't that good. But, you know, it could be improved. But it's okay because, you know, they're just trying to get straight to the quarterback. Next up, <clears throat> well, next up, we're going to go to special teams, guys. So, something that you definitely want to look for in your kicker, if you do kick field goals. But if you go forward on fourth down every single time, Go right ahead. But you want to always look for kick power and kick accuracy, guys. If you do not have those, then it just does not help you. Next up, for kick returners. Now, I do have the... He is the third highest kick returner in the game. Ever since Tyler Lockett came out, he got pushed down to third. He was the second because he has his 99 overall card. But, guys, this is great. This is amazing. But you always want to make sure your kick returner can catch very well. Now, you see his catch isn't all that, so it can really be improved. But you see his 96 kick return is good. He's not that fast. He's not strong, which is a problem. You do want strong kick returners because they're less likely to fumble when if they get a huge hit. Also, his juke moves are very well. And you want somebody who's – you can either want somebody with great agility. He has some decent agility. Or you want somebody with good strength so that way they won't get stopped by certain defenders. Now, in the punter, if you do punt, which I myself, I do not punt, you just always want to look for kick power and you want to look for accuracy. So say if you don't want to punt it out of bounds, you need to make sure they have good enough accuracy so that way they can punt it out of bounds. And you got to make sure that leg is strong enough so that way they can put punt it back as far as possible. <clears throat> now, when you look at for a punt returner, you want to see 95 speed. You want to see great speed. So you see Earl Thomas the third here has 95 speed. You want to look for good kick return. So you see he has 81 kick return. Catch his catch is great. 85 catch, not bad. You see he has good agility. His strength isn't as high. His juke moves are good, and his ball carry vision does need some work. <laughs>